Let's just say you're working on a very important project and then suddenly your Mac crashes. But there are many different types of Mac dev screens and I'm going to go through each of them. My name is Martin Noble, let's go and get started. The first crash screen is the dreaded kernel panic. This is when your computer reaches an unsafe state of the OS and if it continues to run, it would end up damaging it. As a result, the system had no choice but to go into a panic mode. In OS X, Mountain Lion and above, usually the screen should first freeze, then automatically restart. You should then see a message at startup which says, your computer has restarted because of a problem. At this point, you can either wait or press a key to continue the startup. Some kernel panics are very critical that a log would be shown on your computer before it automatically restarts. The next screen of death to look out for is called the prohibitory sign, which means at startup, the computer was unable to load the main system files which are critical for startup, such as the kernel, as it is either missing or damaged. If you see this sign, you may have to restart into recovery mode and reinstall OS X. The flashing folder is the max screen of death, where at startup, the system folder cannot be detected whatsoever and there are no other bootable sources for startup. Despite being very similar to the prohibitory sign, it's far worse. Usually this happens because your hard drive is dead. The only way to get out of this is by entering internet recovery, which is by restarting and holding down command R at the startup chime, or for older Macs, connecting an external disk to restore the OS. The last Apple dev screen we will look at is the low battery icon. This screen will only appear on Apple laptops produced since 2012. When you see this icon instead of the startup chime or the Apple logo, it means that the battery in your Mac is critically low that you just cannot start up your computer, and you would have to connect it to a charger. It is the exact same as the iOS low battery screen, and after connecting to the charger, you would see this icon, and you may have to wait a while, then your laptop should automatically boot into OS X. Since I have covered all the Apple dev screens, I'm afraid there's one severe Mac error you should watch out for, and this possibly could be the worst one out of all of them. And they're called the beeps of death. When you hear them, you know your Mac's life is over. This would leave you no choice but to take your device in for repair at the nearest Apple store. It would usually occur at startup before you hear the startup chime, but sometimes after. Here's how the beeps work. You would have the beep, and then a 5 second pause, and it will repeat again until you turn off your device. One beep would mean no RAM has been detected. Three beeps would mean RAM has failed the data check. And nine beeps in an SOS dial would mean the firmware has been corrupted. Let's look at an example of it. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below. My name is, as you know, Martin Noble. Thank you all for watching and see you guys in my next video.